The word logistics doesn't come up too often in everyday conversations. However, the process of moving goods and materials for their production directly affects the prices of groceries at the nearest store, your favorite fast food item, and a pair of new jeans. Today, more and more factors are affecting shipping in a bad way, but teams around the world are working to make logistics more profitable, safer, and more practical. So, what will the logistics of the future be like? Let's start with the process of sorting and shipping. Making it easier and more profitable means gaining a competitive advantage. Nowadays, robots are a big focus in this area. For example, these smart assistants were presented in Dubai in 2018. Robots are part of the Next system, which consists of a large number of autonomous transport modules. A unique operating system has been created for control, thanks to which robots of different sizes and purposes are combined into a single swarm. This allows the system to choose the ideal robot for a particular task, offering a huge number of advantages. For example, when used for passenger transportation, robots will transport as many people as a conventional car fleet, with a 60% reduction in distance traveled. The Swedish company Einride is working towards similar goals. Their project involves remote control of all sorts of equipment, which means replacing drivers with operators. The woman on the screen has just completed her retraining and is ready to start working. At the moment, the company offers three vehicles. The Pod, a compact version that accelerates to 12 miles per hour and carries standard shipping containers. The Trailer, an all-purpose module able to drive 404 miles on a single charge. And the Truck, the largest member of the lineup, hauling about 52,911 pounds of cargo. The team is actively looking for new employees at the moment, and job openings are available on the website. So the company invites you to join the front line of tech. This kind of technology will obviously be introduced gradually, and it will be a slow process. But entrepreneurs want to profit right now. The company Cargo Cube, which offers a shipping container solution of the future, wants to solve this problem. As a matter of fact, the Cargo Cube is an intermediary, which means that it offers to take care of transportation and storage of customers' goods. Cargo Cube uses patented technology, and all stages of work are fine-tuned to combine low cost and excellent quality of service. For example, pulling a container out of the truck, delivering it to the unloading point, unloading it, and returning it back to the truck can be done by a single person. And the modular design of the containers allowed the storage issues to be optimized. According to the company, these and other advantages reduce transportation costs by about 45%. Naturally, China is also interested in new logistics technologies, because logistics costs account for about 18% of China's GDP. In addition, the country hosts nine of the 50 largest ports in the world, so the scope of work is quite extensive. This is a concept by the Chinese company YQN Link, which has been developing one of the world's leading logistics digital platforms. The Chinese have an ambitious task to make shipping as easy as booking a plane ticket. For this purpose, an intelligent system is being developed. After receiving key data, it offers the best delivery option. All the links in the logistics chain will be visible, as well as the current location and status of the equipment. In addition, the system will alert to possible delays and suggest an alternative route. It is possible that the YQN link service will be assisted by the Hyperport system at some stage of the operation. It is still a concept, but the developers' plans are impressive. Each of these pods can carry two standard 20-foot containers at airplane speed, covering hundreds of miles in minutes. The system is also compatible with 40-foot containers, 
and it will be possible to move about 2,800 20-foot equivalent units per day. According to the creators, it took more than 20,000 hours to build the system. However, the result is clearly worth it. In its current form, it's fully ready for commercialization. By the way, the process of delivering goods to ports will also change, thanks to the efforts of the Kongsberg Technology Group. The team is headquartered in Norway and is offering a project called Yara Berkeland. It's the world's first fully electric and autonomous zero-emission container ship. It has successfully made its way from the blueprints to its first 44-mile voyage from Horten to Oslo. Even the Norwegian Prime Minister praised the project, and full commercial operations are scheduled from 2022 on. The container ship can carry about 120 20-foot equivalent units and reaches a maximum speed of 17 miles per hour. In addition, the engineers implemented an automatic mooring system and remote control of loading and unloading operations. The Finnish company Wartsila also presented their vision of the future of the shipping industry. They highlighted two trends, growing global demand for alternative energy and stricter environmental laws. Taking them into account, they came up with this concept, which includes a lot of interesting ideas. Here are the main points in a nutshell. Floating distribution hubs, which are the artificial islands known as Zero, need to be built along the routes. They will be needed to work with solar and wind energy. The ships could well be upgraded by accommodating production right on board. In the long term, this idea could be very profitable. For example, coffee beans can be processed during the voyage to get the product ready for sale at the port. A single digital tool called Lightos will be used for all operators. Thanks to having access to the same information by all global operators, no container ship will be sent back and forth cargo free. Concept designers keep up with the trends as well. This futuristic truck was posted on the Art Station website. Against the backdrop of modern urban locations, it looks like a UFO but we believe that some of its features will be used in the future. Judging by the concept, it'll be controlled remotely or using an autopilot system. It's also curious that the tractor unit has three axles, while the trailer has only one, but it is huge. Judging by the pictures, this system can prove useful for transporting vehicles, as well as spare parts and consumables that may be needed by their owners. The two tractor units can simplify maneuvers like parking and entering hangars, and thanks to the sections opening upwards, it can also be used as a kind of exhibition stand. Automotive giants are also working on new ideas. For example, Volvo has developed this vehicle. It's called the Volvo Vera, and it's part of the future transport solution concept, which envisions autonomous and environmentally friendly transport. The Volvo Vera is a solution for transport on regular routes, for example at airports, factories and warehouses. The vehicle is controlled by a control tower. It reaches speeds of about 25 miles per hour and will help move up to 70,548 pounds of cargo. In collaboration with the logistics company DFDS, the Volvo Vera has become part of an integrated solution to move cargo from the logistics center to the port terminal in Gothenburg, Sweden. According to Volvo, low-noise, zero-emission autonomous vehicles will play an important role in the future of logistics and benefit both businesses and society. When it comes to air transportation, delivery drones are the future. This trend implies the use of drones and similar commercial vehicles, and the pandemic has given rise to its development. You are seeing the Slovenian project Nuva V300, which combines the advantages of an airplane and a drone. It can take off and land vertically, it can carry up to 992 pounds of payload, and it has a cargo compartment of 106 cubic feet. 
It has a maximum range of 1,553 miles and a speed of 137 miles per hour. The drone can fly autonomously, while ground control is available if necessary, and operating costs are 10 times less than for a helicopter. Drone Delivery Canada is another company specializing in drones. Customers can not only buy drones, but integrate them fully in a variety of industries, from medicine to mining. It's also possible to arrange delivery in hard-to-reach or isolated areas. Opportunities to do so exist. For example, the Condor drone can carry up to 400 pounds at 75 miles per hour. The model is designed to handle high volume of bulk shipments, and it's compatible with the patented DDC flight system. All flights are monitored from the control center in Toronto 24-7. The flight range of the drone is up to 124 miles. Rounding out today's video is the Amazon's hardworking delivery robot, Scout. Thousands of miles into its journey, Amazon Scout rolls further into the future, states the website of the company. The six-wheeled, all-electric robot moves at about walking speed, is able to avoid obstacles and recognize various objects. A built-in radar, various sensors, as well as several cameras, front and rear, are responsible for this. The body is waterproof, so rain is not a problem either. Amazon employees accompanied the first models on tests, but the concept implies a fully autonomous delivery. This option has become especially relevant due to the pandemic. However, at least in the US, there are various regulations restricting the use of fully automated devices in public places, so this factor may hinder the further refinement and spread of delivery robots. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.